What's going on, everybody? It's David Schlothauer here with another detailed weather forecast for Wednesday, December the 4th. 2024. So we're going to jump straight into the video since it's going to be a brief weather update here. So looking at the current satellite imagery here, courtesy of the College of Dew page website, link in the description below this video. And yes, there's a lot of cold air coming in out of the north already across the northern tier of the United States and getting into portions of the Great Lakes. You can see some of these popcorn-like cloud filaments. This is a lot of cold air, and yes, there's even some blowing snow out of this, so maybe some ground blizzard-like conditions up there in central northern Minnesota, as well as portions there of west or eastern and northeastern North Dakota, but also much colder with temperatures up here that are in the single digits already, and we're gonna get much colder tonight with temperatures into the negative 10, negative 15 degree range. But on the other side of the country, like the Spokane Valley in Washington, including for Portland, Oregon, and across portions of the Columbia River Gorge, yes, there is stagnant air here, and that's leading to some dense fog, not necessarily at the ground here. I checked some of the observations, but not far off the ground. We're seeing a lot of foggy conditions, cloudy conditions otherwise, and this is trapping in some of the cold air and smog at the surface. So yes, if you're watching this video and you live over here where I circled in, you're seeing a lot of clouds, actually completely cloudy, no sunshine at all, and it stayed pretty chilly in the mid to upper 30s, some areas even in the low 30s today, so not very warm at all thanks to this inversion that is set up where areas like Portland, Oregon have made their way into the upper 40s today, even some upper 40s, close to 50 degrees in portions of Seattle today, all thanks to this ridge of high pressure. Pretty unusual to see this, but it does happen pretty often. So yeah, some of these valleys, some of these canyons, seeing some of that fog at the surface, and it's really not mixing out as you can see here. Pretty cool to see this from a satellite perspective. And it looks like the weather pattern is not going to allow that fog to mix out very well over the next two or so days, and that's because of this ridge of high pressure across the west, bringing well above average temperatures. Feels more like mid-fall here across my area. We actually got close to 70 degrees today. It's very unusual for the first four days of December where we should be in the upper 50s. So put that into contrast, we got a lot of daily records that were made or tied today in California thanks to that ridge. And that ridge will be with us for the foreseeable future. Don't see much changes yet, at least through the middle to the end of next week. But they're coming down the road after that. So here's that weather system moving across the Great Lakes region, bringing some snow, some gusty winds, and some ground blizzard-like conditions across portions of, say, Minnesota and, say, Iowa, getting wind gusts there in the 30s to 40 mile an hour range. That's going to continue as this ridge surface high builds in this Arctic high, that is, to bring in much colder temperatures. This northwesterly flow also invects colder air down from the north, versus if it was a southerly flow, you get warm air advection. It kind of goes hand in hand. Northwesterly flow, colder air advection, southerly flow, warm air advection, in other words. Not in this uh, situation, but you'll see that later on in the forecast. There's also some um, lake effect snow that is um, um, developing across these Great Lakes area like Lake Huron, Lake Erie, Lake Michigan, pretty much all of the lakes here, Lake Superior, getting a lot of lake effect snow. And so this could accumulate into feet in some of these areas as long as that lake effect snow machine uh, continues or gets reamplified. But by Friday, December the 6th, that's going to shut down gradually, and that's because our flow is going to change. Instead of seeing more of a northerly flow, it's going to be more out of the westerly direction and then eventually more out of the southerly direction, which will invect warmer air over these lakes. And that's going to help to shut down the lake effect snow machine at least for a little bit. By Sunday and Monday, though, uh, pattern doesn't uh, or pattern does change quite a bit, at least for the eastern half of the U.S. No more northwesterly flow. We're going to invect moisture and warmer air northward. So areas like Indiana, as well as say, um, if you're in Tennessee, 
say goodbye to the 20s and 30s and say hello to the 50s and 60s. It's going to feel quite warm out there, including for Indiana. We'll probably be in the upper 40s to lower 50s during the day for an early next week before more colder air arrives, but it's going to be modified and that takes us all the way through the early part of next week. So now, as far as your temperature anomalies go, there's also a big change in those uh, temperatures too coming. All right, so of course, here's our residual cooler Arctic air. Here's the reinforcing one that's coming out of Canada. As we put this into motion, these bluer colors indicate uh, below average temperatures will reside over the area. And some of these areas, this is the European ensemble forecast. Um, knuckling down here, some purple colors indicating temperatures could be as much as 25 to close to 30 degrees below average for your Thursday morning. So bundle up, buttercups. It's gonna be pretty cold out there for your Thursday for tomorrow morning. And then that continues all the way through Friday into Saturday, these below average temperatures. But the pattern does change by the weekend. We talked about that in yesterday's video, how the pattern is going to be changing this. Cooler Arctic air is gonna say goodbye to the United States as we welcome in above average temperatures by Sunday, by Monday. Look at this huge contrast to with what we're seeing right now. Above average over here, back to seeing below average to near average temperatures only temporarily across the Rockies and across California and Nevada. So by Wednesday and Thursday, that cooler air moves out of the west and moves into the Midwest again. So another round of below average temperatures will likely return, but not as significant as what we're seeing today and tomorrow. Uh, for next week, we're looking at about 5 to 10 degree temperatures below average. Now, the reason why this is going to be happening is when we take a look at our 500 millibar height map here. Actually, we're going to use a jet stream. We're just going to uh, jumble things up like in a milkshake, right? So we're going to change things up in this video. You can see uh, the jet stream forecast, very intense um, mid-level jet um, speeding across Indiana, also into Illinois, if you're in Iowa, as well as, um, say, Minnesota. That's where we have the tightest gradient of temperatures, and that's why your winds in aloft are strong, and that's why we're getting the strong uh, air mass response with those strong northerly winds. But watch what happens. The jet uh, moves out of the area. Northwesterly flow prevails, but watch what happens here. By Saturday, by Sunday, this flow actually changes. Uh, so by day five, by Monday next week, well, you got more southwesterly flow uh, moving across the nation, and that's going to infect warmer air over the Midwest. Maybe another round of severe weather, perhaps. We'll have to see on how that pans out. And then it's straight back to the races again temporarily for below average temperatures by the middle of December. This is December the 11th and the 12th that this could verify, but it's pretty far out here on the numerical Euro model. But anyways, if you found this video really helpful, detailed, and informative, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to get latest weather updates here on the channel. Hit the like button and share. But anyways, if you found this video really helpful, informative, and detailed, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to get latest notifications and updates here on the YouTube channel every time I do an upload as often as I can. Also hit the like button and share this video with your family and friends on social media. As always, make Wednesday a great day here on the fourth day of December. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.